Right, hi there guys. So we've got Kill Team Chalnath today. Now, lots of opinions about this one. Um, some good, some bad. Very interesting in the comments in the last couple of videos I've put out about this box. Lots of people, the majority of people saying that it is too expensive. £105 RRP. I picked this up for discount at Element Games. 20% uh, discount. So, yeah, lots of people saying that it is more exp it's too expensive for what it is. Lots of people saying if you look at what's actually in the box, break it down, it's not as expensive as people are saying. I'm kind of somewhere between the two, to be honest. I mean, look, I've, I've got the box, you know, so obviously for me, it's not too expensive. But I'm going to reserve a bit of judgment until I've actually gone through this box. So we have got, I don't like these kind of envelope style boxes that they do for some releases, not very, not very many, um, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of them. I prefer a lidded box. Now we've got a fair amount of content in this, to be fair, for our money. Loads and loads of plastic. Let's have a look through that in a minute, but let's quickly kind of go through what we've got now. That, obviously that sprue is all warped, and I think this is the upgrade sprue, maybe, for the towel. So let's separate what we've got and we'll have a closer look. One double sprue of the Adeptus Sor Sororitas models. We've got some familiar looking terrain. We'll talk about that more in a minute. How much have we got? Six large sprues of terrain. Okay, we'll come back to you. Oh, sorry. Eight large sprues of terrain. Then we've got our towel, and then we've got the rest of the box. The cool artwork that we get in these boxes isn't, isn't cool this time, but nice enough, I suppose. Okay, we've got a bunch of bases. We have got some clear bases for the, uh, for the towel. We've got our book and our assembly guide. More bases, all right, okay, yes. Adeptosaurus and towel empire transfers. And there's our board, which we'll have a better look at in a minute. Okay, so where to start? Let's start with the book. Now I'll have a video up next week showing us how we can make our own um, character cards for Kill Team, or the current edition of Kill Team. Um, very simple stuff. Right, Chalna, let's have a look. Right. God Emperor's light no longer reaches every part of his realm. In the darkness beyond the great rift, fierce wells and loyalties unravel. Nightmares and opportunists press from every side. Each, each sensing the tang of weakness. The xenos fueled sedition at Vedic has cracked the once established faith of the system. Faith must be renewed, lest all fall into ruin. Kill Team Chalna. Okay. What we've got, introduction, factions at war, details about the Adeptus Sororitas and the Tau Empire. This isn't their, this is just showcases uh, and details, this isn't their cards. Then we're on to the rules, the basic rules and um, stats for both of our kill teams. A bit about the kill zone itself, Chalnath. Chalnath Mission Pack. All oh, right, then data slates and data cards. Okay, so all basic stuff. Anyone who's got Kill Team Octarius will know roughly how the flow of this book is going to go. Factions at War. Though the Nemyar Atoll is but a minute part of the Imperium Nihilus, and the Vedic system is much smaller still, many races fight for glory, dominance, or to satisfy base cravings across its world. Many pursue their campaigns seeking nothing less 
and total supremacy, whether that be for their deities, their ideals, or acquiring of resources. So this is basically who takes part in this fight. Um, this is given as information on basically all of the Xenos, Xenos races and likely linking it to this campaign, Chalnaf campaign. Okay, now we've got the detailed information about our kill teams. Lots of lots of information there. The kill zone, slum stack 451A. Uh, so this is to do with our setting. And this, so this explains something um, which I and likely a few others got wrong about this. So if you cast your mind back a couple of months, there was a, a there was like an information piece released by Games Workshop and it was going to be about what is happening with the future box releases for Kill Team. Now it said, particularly this one, it said new models, new Kill Team, uh, sorry, new models and new Kill Zone. Now the Kill Zone itself, I'm looking at the terrain that we've got here and it's very familiar and that's because I'm pretty certain it is the exact same terrain as was released in the original Kill Team box back in 2018, something like that. And when I thought, when I read New Kill Zone, I immediately thought New Kill Team terrain. And obviously that's not the case. So the terrain, at least for this box, is the same. It's just the setting that is different. So my bad on that one, I suppose. So information about the Kill Zone itself. And some lovely images right so all of this everything that we've got here i've oh, got some nice narrative stuff here actually all of this stuff here is similar to what we've seen uh, in the octarius book so names and demeanors this is just the way of us um putting our squads together and naming them and all that sort of stuff the demeanors part actually means bugger all i think anyway a little bit of narrative stuff and then the same sort of thing for the towel. Names and demeanors. Oh, there's no narrative part there. Okay, so then we've got the rules. So we've got our specific rules for our two kill teams, which I won't, which I won't go through now. If you want that, let me know in the comments and I will cover them a bit more exclusively in another video. New tech ops. So I'm, one, I'm, I'm interested, really, to find out what's happening with these TAC Ops. Now, I've got the TAC Op cards that were released in the Octarius box. Now, these TAC Ops, I'm assuming, or I'm certain, they're not actually in that box. So I might actually produce my own cards for this. Because um, that makes the TAC Op cards very, you know, out of date very quickly if these aren't in there. Right, and then it goes through the kill teams individually and starts looking at their stats and that kind of thing as well. So the novitiates, they are do a, a fairly decent amount of damage. Seven and eight wounds roughly for all the models. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I'll definitely have to review these separately so I can go through them and put it all together. Right, okay, and then we've got the where are we? The Pathfinder kill team. Right, sevens for wounds broadly, and eights actually. So very similar, very balanced. These two, not so much like the uh, the kill teams in Octarius. Ah, recon drone, 12 wounds, three and four damage, all right. And then there's spec op rules as well. Um, so that's it, right, okay, so we've got the actual kill zone information itself at the back as well, or at least some of it. Um, so the, the, the rules for the specific buildings. Now I'll have to double check to see if these are assembled in the same way as the original Kill Team core box was. Um, if they are, I will be assembling these completely different, just using that core box for this. 
Um, I don't see the point in having identical terrain pieces if we can build them separately. So going through doors, both Chalnath Ruins buildings have a door, as well as the heavy and scalable traits. This part of the terrain feature has the door trait. An operative can move through this part of the terrain feature as if it were not there. It can do so even if its base is too large for it to fit through. This part of the terrain feature, uh, this part of the terrain feature. An operative must finish their move in a location it can be placed, therefore it must finish the move wholly on one side of the door or the other. And it's got the hatch. An operative can move vertically through this part of the terrain feature as if it was not there. Note that this will be done with a climb unless they can fly or with drop. So the building itself is scalable. It has a door and a hatch there. shows the vantage point, va punishing vantage point. Each time an operative makes a shooting attack while on a punishing vantage point, before rolling, uh, before rolling attack dice for that shooting attack, the target is not in cover. The attacker can retain one attack dice as a successful normal hit without, without rolling it. Each time an operative makes a shooting attack before rolling defense dice for that shooting attack, if the target is on a punishing vantage point, at least two circle higher than them and in cover, the defender can retain an additional dice as a successful normal save as a result of cover. Okay, cool. Uh, ruined walls. Doesn't explain anything about them, but they're just cover anyway. Right, Shadow Operations Chalmath Mission Pack. So there's nine missions here. A little table how to get started but yeah these are good again so i'm going to be making cards for all of these models and that kind of thing and i will also make some probably a5 cards for this um for these for these mission cards as well very nice Okay, so nine of those as well. So good. Very good. Right, have we got anything else before we move on? Okay, yeah, so we can fill these out. These are nice that the it's quite nice that these are bespoke to the factions as well. Okay, right, so that's it, that's the book. What else can we look at? Can't we deem much from this except for um, the towel now I believe I'm right in saying this please correct me if I am wrong this is an existing towel sprue and this is the new upgrade pack so this has been around for years, I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, and this is what's new. So when they say new models um, in that infographic that I read a few months ago, they meant basically these, the Adeptosaurus ones, and the upgrade sprue for the towel. The rest of it remains the same. So yeah, all of these have been supplied on these little 25 millimeter sprues. So they're very small models. So same scale really as the uh, Death Core of Kree that came out with Octarius. Um, but they all look very, very nice. And then the bulk of the plastic we've got, sorry, so we've got one standard style, uh, towel sprue an upgrade sprue and then oh, sorry so we've got one towel sprue and an upgrade sprue and then we've got another um this is the adeptus sororitas one uh, and that has an extra small sprue on it as well i'm assuming these are some sort of upgrades as well 
So the terrain itself, um, you will all have seen this before. Let's just work it. So we've got four different types of sprue. Um, let's quickly work through them. So this one, which is all smaller ruins, or appears to be, get four of uh, three of these sprues. These larger wall sections, get two of those. These ones include uh, the doors. We get these sections, so another ruined section there and the, the floor levels. We get two of these. And then we get one of these. So this is like a main archway. Um, and some stuff to go on the, on the roofs and that kind of thing. So yeah, so that's it. So that is it. That is Kill Team Chalnaf. Um, so what do I think? What's what's my uh, opinions on this release? Well, I, I will say that I'm quite happy I've got it. Um, I was expecting, I don't know why. I think, I think I'm at fault here, but when a lot of information got released, I was expecting all of the content to be brand new. So I wasn't expecting to see terrain or towel that I've already seen before, um, especially not when we're paying such a premium price, or well, what I believe to be a premium price. So if I look at, if I'm breaking down the costs, I'd say that we've got a decent sized terrain kit there, so it's probably 50 quid. Um, a set of towel and a set of the, uh, of the Adeptus Aurorus, let's say that they're you know, 30 quid each. It's 110, the upgrade sprues 20, 30. So the, yeah, I suppose there, there's a small, there's, there's a decent savings to be made there. We of course get the China book as well, which has got all the missions in it and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, overall, I suppose I'm pretty happy. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely come back and do some more videos on China though. I'll, I'll be going through, perhaps I'll review the actual uh, kill teams themselves. I'll do that separately. Yeah, I'll do some uh, do some digging, come back on that. The big one for me, though, is what's gone on pre-order today. So today, Warcry Red Harvest went on pre-order. And again, that a lot of the dominating news on that has been the price. So that is up at £130 RRP. Or, of course, you can get it from your local retailer or, or your online retailer in the UK, I use Element Games, and there's a link in the description. It's just a affiliate link. If you use that, I'll get a tiny little bit of cheese, just a little tiny commission off of them, uh, but it won't cost you a penny more. So if anyone does use that, and for those of you who do it, I massively appreciate that. It really, really, really makes a big difference to me and the channel. So thank you to everyone who does that. Um, but yeah, so I've ordered it from there. For, I think it was £104 instead of £130. Um, but I'm really looking forward to that. So that is a that is a full on release. It's got a huge amount of terrain. It's got our two war bands, um, and it's got the new brand new setting, never before seen setting. And what I like about that is it's got new battle plan cards. Um, you know, it's got all your dice and that kind of thing. And the book that's in with that has got, I believe, it also serves as a rule book as well. So. It does cover that as well. So if anyone's interested in that, go and order that. I'll be covering it very extensively when it when it arrives. Um, but yeah, that's probably if there's something I'm looking forward to most this year is that release. But this is good. I'm quite happy with it. Um, and I'll be back with more content and this very, very soon. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Much appreciated. I'll see you all very soon. Take care.